the cheapest capture card Intel? Let's check it out. Hey yo, what's up guys? It's me, Mr. Gim here and welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a product which I thought is nice to share. See, I didn't release it exciting unboxing today because the box today is disgusting. There's no brand, no design, no thoughts to it. It's just a USB dongle that looks really cheap, no warranty or whatsoever. Since there's no design about it, let's just throw it away the box and quickly see what's inside the box. Inside the box, there's the hero product and also a quick start menu that wraps around in the bubble wrap. Let's quickly run through the menu. So many people would wonder what is this USB dongle thing? This is a video capture card. Essentially, what it does is to capture video cam source into output to your computer screen. There are many pro capture cards out there which I have already reviewed before. If you haven't seen the video, do check it out. I'll link everything down in the description box below. This is a 2.0 capture card that's selling everywhere right now, like in Amazon, eBay, AliExpress, etc. And I paid actually about $40, Sing dollar for it to test this capture card. There's no brand name or whatsoever. It's just a HDMI video capture card on the toggle itself. And they are using the HDMI logo, even though they probably didn't pay for the license to put it up there. This USB 2.0 capture card that has been installed of a cam link that Elgato has made. I'm not very sure about the frame rate it captured, but probably let me look at the menu and I'll check that out quickly. It shows that it can support up to 1920 to 1080p at 30 frames per second, which is good just to capture a talking shot and I would think that it's most affordable cam link alternative you could possibly buy. Perhaps I should hook up to my GoPro camera for today and see whether it works. So for this first test right now, I'm just going to use my phone to capture it. We're also using the lightning adapter to HDMI cable and from there, using the HDMI cable to connect to the capture card. And I will stream a game to see whether how consistent this capture card is. And now to stream out to Facebook and see how great the game captured. As you all can see that there's no way to can select 60 FPS for smooth gaming. So this is not recommended for gaming. It stays quite consistent for 30 FPS as you can see from the stream health on Facebook. Alright, right now I'm going to do my second test which is to hook up my Mac GoPro to my Mac to see whether it captured well enough. And so right now you will see its output from my GoPro. Once you select the options from your Skype, you should be able to connect your GoPro to your Mac. So right now let me do a test on Zoom call. And this is from the Zoom application like I showed you earlier. All you need to do is just go under to your setting, switch between the, the Mac iSight camera to your GoPro. Under the camera setting, you should be able to find everything and here's how it looks. After looking at the footage, I must say that the latency is kind of low so there is no worry for your Zoom meeting or Skype meeting. Overall, it's pretty great in this day and age, but it's very low resolution for 2020. Perhaps for a capture card that is below $50, you probably don't care much if you're just using it for your own meeting or video call. I will not recommend this for your commercial work or even for playing game for 60 FPS. So that's it for my video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you slap a like button. Be my friend by clicking on the subscribe button. Comment in the comment section if you have any questions and I will see you in my next video. Okay, thanks, bye!